morning everyone so how are you today all of you which class 11th 12th all of you in 11th okay right so <coughs> as she said i am uh, colonel banerji spent about a decade two decades in the army and then shifted to the corporate world so today i am here basically to tell you about why choose defense services as a career option so at you know in uh, class 11 you are at the threshold of decision making in your mind multiple career options are going somebody is thinking of you know taking the engineering degree somebody thinks of going into medical somebody thinks of doing commerce so whatever you study will not in the in the when you get get into the working life whatever you have studied till now may work there may not work there you will you may continuously keep changing your track you know so that way you have to be open minded but what my aim here is to talk to you about a profession which will give you the flexibility to do as you evolve in your life you guys are able to understand what i am saying if you if i go a little more if i am flying over your head you let me know huh? and i will come down should not be a bouncer okay so why i am saying this is see i studied science maths shifted to worked in army then went into finance total my commerce friends you know so you don't have any fixed parameters in today's career if you are looking at today's career because today is a very dynamic world it is changing so you will have to keep equipping yourself with the knowledge which is required to choose the profession of your choice now cutting the long story short i will briefly introduce you to why army or the defense services that is army air force navy what it provides to you as a lifestyle and how do you benefit as a career and what all options you have even if you want to branch out in the outside world okay so i will just show you a small introduction to what the defense service is all about huh? i'll just tell i have just borrowed a clip from the film uri i don't know how many of you have seen it any anyone has seen uri yes sir okay so you will you will relate with this how is the josh hi sir how is the josh hi sir i said how is the josh hi sir so the api so what was used in parkel war
this was just to give you what happens in actual operations when we talk about the Indian Army, when we talk about the Navy and we talk about the Air Force. Now you will, you would have seen that though it looks pretty dramatic, but if you just see the scale of the equipment, you would have realized that how much technology goes into all this. So it is not that you just go there and fight a battle, it is more. So in today's battle, technology rules. And to understand technology, you will have to study a lot. So, you know, when at my, when I was your age, uh, way back in the 80s, and uh, I was joining army, I thought army is all action, way of life, there's a lot of style, there is everything. But the amount of, I never imagined the amount of studies we have to go through once we joined army. Because technological innovations, you know, you saw those, Guns firing from distance, it's all trigonometry, huh? height and distance. Any one of you doing trigonometry or I hope in 11th, you'd be doing height and distance. So in the artillery, when you're firing the guns, it's all, so there is a lot of, when you go for the training and all, there's a lot of studies which happens, maths. And, uh, <clears throat> but the way is, even if you're a commerce student, even if you're an art student, and even if you're a science student, the organization makes sure that you are brought up to the required level. That's the beauty of the organization. Now, what is the defense services all about? Defense services is a way of life. So, you know, you want to join a career which provides you what? Why do you want to, why, why are you looking for a career? Anyone? All of you want to work after school, college, why? Anyone? Very good. To fulfill your needs. Anybody else? Anything? To have a good time? All of you agree? To have some dough in your pocket? To fulfill the needs of your family. Very important point. Sorry? Escape? Okay. okay, that's a bit of philosophical touch. Good. I never expected class 11 guys, you know. In our time, class 11, we were very pretty. So, so my, uh, just to digress a bit, my wife has been in this education line for now last 30 years. She's the vice principal here only in Bangalore. So she was telling me, I was telling her that I'm going to address class 11 students. So she said there will be some interesting guys you will come to see. Now the students are much more advanced. So I liked your get out of the matrix. So he had a very interesting point. You you study, then what you said? You work and then you die. What's so great about it, isn't it? Everybody does that. So where is the excitement? Anna? Where is the josh? Am I right? So are you opting for the army? Came for the oh, good. So, that's a very interesting point as to if you want to get out of the life's metrics and do everything, is there a profession which provides you all that? So, defense services is what we say is a way of life. It's not only, it's all this, but it's also a way of life. Okay, meaning what I'm trying to say is, you study, you work, but also you enjoy life. So, now uh, India has moved ahead a lot. Uh, earlier, if you talked about enjoyment in profession, it was not taken in a very right sense. This guy is not serious. Why is he not talking about work? He's talking about enjoyment. But as the country has matured, what is realized is all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. It used to be an uh, old saying. So it is very important in life to work is very important. When you work, you work seriously, but you also have to devote some 
part of your life into having a nice good time with your family, friends, everyone, which is, as we say, is the work-life balance. Now, Defense Services provides you that whole, what do you say, the universe or the whole, that whole environment is there, the ecosystem, as we say, which will give you everything. It will allow you to get knowledge. It will allow you to drive your passion. And then it will allow you to explore avenues other than work. For example, if you are a sports fan, you can play different type of sports throughout your life. You know, at today also at 60 years, I can go to any army institute and play any sports. That is the advantage the organization gives you. You want to pursue any adventure activities. They will teach you and they will allow you to pursue that. For example, you want to do skydiving, you want to do balloon, hot air ballooning, you want to do paragliding, anything. There's a whole division of adventure activities in the, and you want to only concentrate on your profession, do the army, air force, navy work, have your normal game and also have a nice life. There is a mess, there is everything. You have a nice, there are get together. So all, it's all in the sense that as we say, uh, today you will say, I'm going for partying. Your parents will say, oh, why partying? You need to study. But in the army, partying is also part of your way of life. Because in the defense services, as we say, everything has to be there so that you are 100 and 100 percent or 200 percent concentrated when you're going for an operation. You know? It's not, you're out of that matrix that you live, you work and you die. You're not, you have seen the complete, you can choose anything you want to do. So coming back to the topic main, why join the armed forces? Now at your age, this becomes very critical to understand why we are talking about defense services. So you will need to just pay a little bit of attention here. You know, responsibilities carry at a very young age. Now say you apply for the, at your age, all of you would be either doing technical graduate scheme after school or you will go to the NDA. Three years training, then one year specialized training whether you choose Army, Navy, or Air Force, one year specialized training, then you become an officer. So, say 12th is, what is the average age nowadays in 12th? 17, 18? 17. 17 plus 4. 21, you get as a commissioned officer. So, at 21 years of age, you start earning real solid money. Number one. Number two, you have got a solid standing in the society. You will say, you will go to your place and say, I am Lieutenant something, <coughs> Lieutenant John, Lieutenant Karan, Lieutenant Sanjay, whatever name, Rita, or whatever your name is, when you say, I am Lieutenant such and such, people will say, oh, anywhere you go, you know. Uh, the rank, more than the rank, the organization carries value. Any, uh, say, when we used to do, when we have to go for firing practice and all, we had to meet a lot of civil officers, the dis district commissioner and all, the police commissioner to get permissions when you do exercises in uh, peacetime. So I, as a young uh, captain that time, if I just walk on to a DC's office and I tell I, I'm Captain Kaushik Banerjee, I want to beat the DC, the, the, the guy will come running and take me to him, the peon. Yes, sir, sir has come. So what I'm trying to say is the profession carries a lot of weight. You know, it is not that other professions do not carry weight. All professions carry weight. But this is at a young age, people have an awe for the defense forces. The moment you say you're from a defense officer, there is a different respect for you. The next thing is, Respect, honor, and pride, which I told you. Invaluable service to the nation during war and peace. I have a, in the end, I will show you a small snippet from a latest movie, which uh, had just come out on the OTT, Tejas, 
I don't know any one of you have seen it. Kangana Ranawat talks about as a soldier, what do you want to, what do you think a soldier or what is the value of a soldier? And uh, it talks about the very thing which you were talking about, the metrics of life. In a very, I will show you in the end. It's a very moving piece. Now this is very important, ladies and gentlemen. Camaraderie and team spirit. You know, the difference between, I have seen both sides of the world, the defense world and the corporate world. The difference between the corporate and the defense world is the level of camaraderie and team spirit. The camaraderie and team spirit is also there in, uh, in the corporate. It's not that, it's not there, but the level I'm talking about. Okay. For example, in the if you are in the corporate world, in the profession which I was doing in the finance and all, business finance or in the sales, in the marketing, if you are in these professions, your performance is measured every quarter. You know, they work on quarter, January, February, March. So how has been your performance in the quarter? Quarter to quarter performance is always on your head and if you perform well, you survive. If you don't perform well, you will have to look for other options. Performance is also very key in the defenses. It is not that it is not key. It is very key. But they will not let you go till you have totally given up. If, in, if you are a low performer, if you have not performed well, they will ensure that you bring up your standards are brought up to the required measurement. Other important thing is acceptance of failure. Acceptance of failure is there in the defense services. It is not that if you're going in an operation, you fail. The consequences are very high there. If you fail in an operation in the sense you're leading men, as I say to the death, if you are if you fail there, the consequences are high, but the failures are accepted. You can fail. It's not that you will not fail. However, the lessons, what is taught there is if you have failed, don't give up. You learn from your failure and you improve the next time. The system is organized in such a manner that it will give you that impetus, that confidence, that faith that even if I fail, there will be 10 people to tell me how to succeed. So probability factor increases so much that the chances of failure become very highly reduced. The tension is not there in your mind. If this doesn't happen, what is going to be there? Life is not an Excel sheet, if you understand. All, anyone, all of you are familiar with Excel sheets? So life is not an Excel sheet there. Okay, I create a formula. And if the formula is wrong, I will do what? Control Z. In the army, you cannot do control Z defense. Once you are fired, no? you, saw, you saw that video. No? If it is fired, it's gone. Bullet or shell or whatever you have fired will go and hit the target or wherever you have pointed out. So it develops in you a high sense of responsibility a high sense of accountability. The training is such that it will, the, the, my biggest advantage which I found when I was transcending into the civil world was that I had amount of self-confidence in me. You have a high self-esteem, which is very important. Have belief in yourself, have faith in your abilities. It is not that whether you are good or bad. When we say faith in your abilities, it is not that you will sit at home and you will develop faith in your ability. It is not like that. You will have to work for it. So the, the, the biggest beauty about defense services is that it will give you that atmosphere, that environment where you will be able to inculcate all these qualities. Okay? Nationalist and secular, this is everywhere. It's not only in the defense services. As I say, 
uh, all your teachers are here. We are here today because of the teachers. One of the biggest uh, nationalist and secular are our teachers. So it is not, it is everywhere. Most of the professions, but army or defense emulates it little more. That's all. Quality of life, as I told you, excellent quality of life. So it is not that that you are in the operations in, see, I have personally been in Glacier, Siachen Glacier, which is at 18,500, one of the big, highest uh, battlefield in the world. I've been in Jammu and Kashmir. But have I ever complained about quality of life? No. Why? Because you go on an operation, you stay there three months, four there, then come back onto the base. In the base, even in that, I'm telling you, at 18,500 feet, we were, I was staying inside a ice cave, okay, because Pakistan was shelling, this is way back in 90s, Pakistan used to shell, so if we stay in our fiberglass hut, chances of it getting destroyed were high, so we used to stay in ice caves. There also, helicopter will come and deliver us everything. I used to get Cadbury's, Nestle. Kit Kat, I don't know, Kit Kat is still there? Yes. Uh, I used to get Kit Kat, very fond of Kit Kat. Kit Kat is to be supplied, all your uh, cold storage. Now, in this, if you take a tomato, na, it is like a cricket ball. If you, it's, Everything is frozen. You hit tomato, I can break your face with that tomato. So hard there. Everything comes, uh, gets frozen. But what I'm trying to tell you is, at 18,500 feet, I had no dearth of good food supplies. Only thing what was worrying there is, you had Pakistani shells for your company, firing on your head, you had action there. But what I'm saying, that was the life we had chosen. But it is not that the organization doesn't care for you, even if you're in that side. In Jammu and Kashmir, where we were doing counterinsurgency ops, when we're going for the ops, it's fine. But after you come back from the ops, wherever you're staying, the organization has the wherewithal to give you a nice, a hot meal, nice mess, even in we create nice lovely mess in the tents. With full, you know, those days this OTT was not there. I am talking about early 2000. That time Star used to give direct connection. So we used to get those Star connection. In um, Siachen, they introduced satellite communication so that you can speak to your home on using satellite phones. So what I'm trying to tell you is this is one organization which will ensure that your quality of life is taken care of. And then when you come back after those operations, suppose I say I was uh, operating in JNK uh, for good about seven, eight years continuously and my family was here in uh, Bangalore. My son was studying that time in Cotton's. Bishop Cotton, you know, he was studying it. So I used to get Anybody in the defense services will get, guess how much leave you get? Two months. Leave you get? Two months. And in corporate, how much leave you get? Though all those whose fathers are working in the corporate? 15, 20 days. Huh? Other, then also they will be sitting on the laptop, you know, if you see them. All, in my complete corporate career, on all leaves, I had to carry my laptop along with me, though I was on leave, but I had my phone, somebody will call me on phone. In the defense services, leave is leave. Two months solid, 60 days. I used to come from, I was posted in Rajauri, Menders, that side, Udhampur district, then Rajauri district. I used to come two months or one month leave, I will take once, then one month, total ball have time. Nobody disturb you. With your family, kid, everything, you have a good time. After two months, you will also get additional 20 days casual leave. Now you can take casual leave in 10 days, you can take casual leave in uh, two days, five days, depend. So total amount of 80 days of leave is what it gives you. So out of one year, three months gone on leave only. Medical facilities totally free for you and your family and your dependents. Say your parents are dependent on you. Their medical is also free. So that all those details will show you. This I think is the hallmark 
of the different services. Development of well-rounded personality. Now, why this is, a, this is important and why this is required, you will realize it if you are coming out of the different services. So, to put it in nutshell, there are many more slides we will go through, but to put it in a nutshell, if you ask me what, is, what are the options you have after 11th, you do 12th, those of you who have commerce, okay fine, those of you who have science, that's fine. You can try giving the exam for NDA. While you are giving an exam for JE or for NET, medical or commerce, if you want to apply for the commerce college to do BCom and be, a, <coughs> be in the commerce line, you appear for NDA. The advantage is, if you go through the NDA and you become an army officer or an air force officer or a defense officer, you also have the option that you will, okay, you are not yet decided that whether you should do a full-time army officer or defense officer job, you are still in two minds, then you should look for a <coughs> short service after graduation. So, for example, like what I did, if in school you are still undecided that whether you want to do uh, defense or corporate, the second option is then you go to college and after college by the time again you have thought over and you then go for the entry after college that is technical graduate scheme is there, CDS is there, all that. But that is what I did. But having done that, what my advice would be is that if you are about 60 to 70 percent sure that you want to join the defense forces, it is best you go through the NDA route. If you want to be, if you don't want to be, you can be an engineer also. But if you want to study engineering, then you go through the 10 plus 2 technical entry. Those of you who are wanting to become the engineers, that's a very good entry which I started. It was not there in our time. 10 plus 2 technical was not there. We only had NDA. This uh, is very good. Those of you who are looking for an engineering now, what, what is the advantage here? What happens is, you go to the army, you do that training, you become an army officer or an air force officer or a naval officer. Anything you want to do, you become. Now, as far as the uh, education is concerned, I told you about quality of life, metrics, all that. For a second, leave that aside. Let's focus on the education part. In the army, those of you who are, who are very bright students, will also get a chance to study in IIT. So <clears throat> what happens, many of you, many of the officers, they do this course in the IIT, ISC, and then after certain, after serving, you have to serve about five, six years in the army, then they leave and join the corporate world. Now, when you see those equipments here in today's world, there's a huge amount of opportunity outside in the defense industries. All of you would have heard about drone. It's a big deal today. Then you see all these big companies are getting into defense equipment manufacturing. Tata's, Adani's, l &T, all those are getting into defense equipment manufacturing. So what happens, this, those of you who get this engineering degree or those of you who, are, who have studied, who have worked in the defense services, after 20 years, there is another horizon which is opening up, which is the corporate sector. So, what is, at 20 when you become an officer, 20 years you work, you are at 41, 42. Correct? You are at 41 and 42, and at 42 years, you have the option again to decide that would I continue in the defense forces? or will I jump into the corporate sector? So this is one profession which gives you win-win-win-win everywhere. So that is, if you are thinking like that, so that is what I think from a professional point of view, for a career point, this option becomes very attractive. Okay, these are the various types of entries 
Uh, you, all of you have got a brochure with you? So you can go through that. If you have any questions, you can always come down to Cavalier. Pristina is always there. You can always ask her. So this is another very important. My favorite subject here is what are the pay and allowances and perks? Okay, you read today. Uh, how many of you follow news very actively on the placement scenes which is happening in colleges? Any one of you follow college placements? But you are still not so much interested in that. <clears throat> you will hear so many guys have got 1 crore package, 50 lakh package, you know, so many lakhs package. But how many of those, how many are, are the people getting? In a class of 400 to 500 students, it is the top 10% or 20% which is cracking that. There is a whole lot below which is not taking that much of money. <coughs> okay. However, here in the defense, you will get a stipend during the training. So once you are in the academy, your expenses become zero. Everything is taken care of, food, uniform, medical, everything is taken care of plus a stipend you will get. So the starting salary today, once you become a lieutenant in the Navy, or in the army or a flight officer, flying officer in the air force, you start with a salary of 90,000 per month. Now this is the cash aspect. On top of this 90,000, you will get free accommodation, housing. You will get free medical, free transport. Now when you add up all these facilities, free canteen facilities. Now, when you add up all these facilities, you, which in the corporate parlance, you get CTC, you know, cost to company. Your cost to company is 2 lakhs per month. That is the amount you earn in the defense forces. So straight away, you are on a 24 lakh package as a young 21 year old person in the defense forces. Now imagine this amount of money and facilities which organization is giving today at 21 years of age. And when I say this, I don't want you to compare with the top guy in a college who is banging a you know, 50 lakh package or a 20 lakh uh, or a 1 crore package. Everybody is not getting that. We are talking here of if in India there are 700 cadets or in the IMA if there are 400 cadets officers passing out. The 400 officers passing out, two times it happens in June and in December. So about 1000 officers total in a year, they will start with 90 okay, cash, 2 lakh total per month package. This is unbeatable. No profession can counter this. So, when we see this, when what all this 2 lakh interval? This is free ration, that is your food and all is free. That's what it says basically. <coughs> medical as I said, free medical. And the best thing, ladies and gentlemen, is your parents are also covered in medical. If the parents are dependent on you, provided they are dependent on you, which is everywhere, provided they are dependent on you, the medical for your parents are covered, free. Leave I have already told you. Now this is very important gentlemen and ladies. Access to higher education which I told you about is on the uh, IITs and uh, ISC and all these colleges. Study leave. Now suppose after certain years of service, you want to uh, appear in some or do some specialization, study somewhere. Defense Services gives you two years of study leave, paid. You will get your salary also, full facilities, salary, accommodation, everything will be there. Plus, you can choose the college you want to study in. Okay, that is there. Education for your children. Everywhere you will have army schools. 
okay no problem in getting admission central schools have preferential admission for army kids or defense officers kids or <coughs> then is the colleges the army itself the defense itself has its own engineering college where children of armed forces will get preference you will have to appear in the exam but you will get a preference then you have your own medical college afmc pune those of you are aware so schools colleges is coming up in a very big way in the defense services then i told you quality of life these are the various sub facilities which we have now for any guidance you have cavalier here prashtina is here for if you want to understand in many more details of that that this is there before i show you this clip any questions you want to ask me on the profession any questions you have on the different services anyone or did i bore you too much yeah sorry yeah no uh, no worries specs is see in the uh, air force when you are doing there is a particular test for fighter pilots but in the army there is no problem so for the for fighter pilot there are certain restrictions but you can join the ground services because see the armed forces is not one no? it is only not the helicopter or aircraft which is flying there are plenty of things which goes in support of that <coughs> so you can join the engineering the, the air force and navy are the very strong engineering branch even in the army the, there's a huge demand of engineers in the defense services yeah anybody else yeah ladies any questions how many of you are, have already decided to join which uh, which uh, army you want to join air force navy ground service air force good yeah how many of in the uh, among the guys you are thinking of joining few people had raised hand so which uh, which air force army good anybody from the army background here or defense background here okay you don't want to join you don't want to join armed forces <laughs> so you have got used to too much of the uh, perks and privileges so you said you have enough of it so let me try something else okay any other questions so before i hand over to prashtin to tell you about the various things i will quickly just show you this small clip clip which talks about the value of uh a soldier so that was so i was seeing this i thought it has portrayed the life uh, or the what a soldier means very well so that's why i thought i will share that with you so it was nice speaking to you okay that all the best take care thank you Hosting this session for us. I'm sure you've cleared most of our queries, and uh, a lot of us are inspired now to join the armed forces and protect the country. So, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.